Okay, let's move on and we're going to talk about the ARBs, the angiotensin receptor blockers. So we have a case. A 67-year-old male with a history of hypertension and diabetes presents to your clinic for a follow-up appointment. He was already discharged from the hospital with a diagnosis of new onset congestive heart failure. He reports that he is feeling relatively well and his physical examination is within normal limits with the exception of a blood pressure of 160 over 94. Given his suboptimal blood pressure control and his new diagnosis, you decide that a change in his pharma pharmacologic therapy is in order. As you look over his chart, you note that uh, he had developed angioedema when taking an ACE inhibitor and thus uh, is only taking a diuretic for blood pressure control currently. You decide to add a medication that is similar to an ACE inhibitor in that it affects the actions of angiotensin II, but this medication is not associated with the side effect of angioedema as it has no effect on bradykinin metabolism. So, uh, I'll read that last part again. You decide to add a medication that is similar to an ACE inhi inhibitor uh, in that it affects the actions of angiotensin II, but this medication is not associated with a side effect of angioedema as it has no effect on bradykinin metabolism. You remember we were talking about bradykinin, we were talking about cough. Anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> let's talk about this. So, these ARBs. So, similar drugs. ARBs include Losartin, Valsartin, and others. And we're looking at the Lang uh, pharmacology cards here. So, the mechanism of action. The ARBs act by blocking the angiotensin 2 AT1 receptor, thereby blocking the effects of angio angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has the following actions. It is a vasoconstrictor. It increases perfusion pressure in the glomeruli through vasoconstriction of the efferent arterioles of the kidney. It stimulates aldosterone production, leads to increased salt and water retention by the kidney. By blocking the effects of angiotensin II, the ARBs act to decrease peripheral vascular resistance and to decrease the effective circulating volume of fluid in the body. Clinical uses treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure, also used to treat and prevent diabetic neuropathy. Side effects, hyperkalemia and renal failure in re uh, renally insufficient patients. Hypotential, hypertension, teratogen, may cause fetal renal damage if used during pregnancy, rash. So, uh, as for other, it says, note that unlike the ACE inhibitors, the ARBs have no effect on the met metabolism of bradykinin, nor are they associated with a cough or the development of angioedema. Both of these side effects are believed to be related to the elevated levels of bradykinin. So, if you're giving an ACE inhibitor, you should be prepared for a lot of side effects. So, these angiotensin receptor blockers can be good could be a better choice. So treatment of hypertension, congestive heart failure, treat and prevent diabetic neuropathy, blocking the angiotensin 2 receptor. And uh, an example here is Losartin. Thank you.